what's going on guys welcome to your 50th wow this is like a milestone a 50th UDK tutorial and in this tutorial I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to use the switch action in Unreal Kismet so before I continue I want to tell you guys that I did jump back into our old map um, if you remember this map let me just go ahead and play it this is the map that I think I taught you guys how to use announcements so whenever you go up to the switch box and hit E it plays a sound and it says Bucky is awesome like a hoss so if we go ahead and actually take a look at the coding for this we go ahead and use the trigger and I taught you guys how to use this announcement right here so again remember this trigger isn't a contact trigger we actually have to go up to it and hit E rather than you know just running or bumping into it so let me go ahead and first disconnect this wire right here and position this right over there now remember this announcement just says Bucky is awesome like a hoss right on the screen so if I just go ahead and hit control C to copy this and paste that two more times I can get two more announcements that both say the same thing however I want this announcement to say Bucky is awesome like a hoss and this next one to say um but he's not as awesome as Nally Portman and make sure you spell that wrong and for this last one I'll just put dot 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 or is he again this uh, little story doesn't have to make sense I just want something to go kind of in a sequential pattern I could put one two and three but you know one two and three come on that's boring who does that so now let me go ahead and control alt and drag and actually move these over because in the middle I'm gonna be adding something called a switch Oh, you don't believe me, do you? Well, let me go ahead and do that right now. Go ahead and right click and hit new action. Oh, I had to swallow there. And if you go under switch, you're going to find something called a switch. Hmm, who would have thought to look there? Now, let me explain to you guys what a switch is. You know how I told you guys before that a single event can cause a single action? Well, what if this event can make each one of these? actions happen well we know we could do this used and used and used and then if we hit that switch all of these would play at the exact same time but that is not the effect we're going for so let me go ahead and disconnect that what I want is the very first time I hit this switch then I want this to happen the next time I hit it I want this to happen the next time I hit it I want this to happen and that's exactly what a switch action does so the first thing we notice is that it only has one input but it also only has one output so what one of these am I supposed to plug it into well first of all we need to give it more outputs so if you go ahead and look at the properties for switch you're gonna see something called a link count under this sec act switch so now let me go ahead and put this link count to three this basically means how many different options do you want to link to so the first time I hit the switch it's gonna go ahead and play this one if I hit it a second time it's gonna play this one and if I hit it a third time it's gonna go ahead and play this one so now that's it that all there is to it so let me go ahead and X out of this hit play from here and check it out I'm gonna run up to my control panel and now I'm gonna hit E and it's gonna say Bucky is awesome like a hoss if I hit it again it says but he's not as awesome as Natalie Protman I'm going to spell Portman right there now let me hit it one last time and it says or is he <laughs> it's kinda of like an evil question right at the end there so now actually for the fun of it let me go ahead and hit this one more time can you hear me click my keyboard click 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 yeah that's what sound my keyboard makes weird huh so nothing's happening it doesn't loop back or anything so maybe that's the effect we're going for maybe we just want the user to read through those messages one time and never again but if we do want to loop it back let me show you guys this property if we go ahead and hit this switch we have looping right here disabled nothing is in that checkbox but if we go ahead and check it then whenever we're done cycling through the switch it goes up and it hits number one again and it loops through forever and ever so now let me go ahead and X out of this hit play from here and check it out E Bucky is awesome like a hoss but he's not as awesome as Natalie Propman or is he and hit it again 
again, Bucky's awesome, but he's not, or is he? I can do this all day if I wanted to. So I'm not gonna waste your time with that. So basically, that's wanna exp that's what I wanna explain to you guys. A switch is something that it's basically a way that a single event can cause multiple actions to happen one after another basically if you just look at this then you guys can see what's going on a lot better than me explaining it. however at the beginning of this tutorial my guess is whenever you came across switch then you guys might have been a little confused by the wording because whenever you think of switch you think on and off and you don't think it through looping through a list so hopefully you guys understand what a switch is now and how to use it so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to donate two million dollars to me on my website so uh what was that last thing I said? Oh, don't worry about that. So I'll see you next video.